Hello everybody and welcome back to what is going to be an extremely fun but extremely stupid game of Civ that I'm already regretting already. We're going to be playing as Eleanor of Aquitaine because we love Eleanor and her court of love. Oh, we love the love. The only problem is, we've played with her a little bit and I'm having a quick game with her because we're waiting for Portugal to come out and all of the other updates that inevitably end up coming out right in the middle of a series that I put up but you know, well, that's stuff for me to worry about. No, the twist this game is that we are playing an 8 player match on a 6 player map. Here are the details by the way, Deity, we are playing with pretty much every, in fact every mode is currently on, Apocalypse through to Secret Societies, through to Dramatic Ages and Heroes and Legends and Barbarians and Civic Shuffle and we're playing with it all, it's all on. Pangea map, all the things left to zero, but ignore all of that, come to Discord and take the save file. Discord, plug, 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 plug. Now the catch on this game is that we are playing eight players and every single player in this game, including me, is Eleanor of Aquitaine. Yes, that's right, there's a lot of love on this map, a whole lot of love. Being absolutely serious, this could be hilarious fun or it could be a total disaster because the Court of Love is one of those effects that once it starts to snowball, it really does snowball and I've seen Eleanor from the computer actually take over other civs with this ability once they get going. So yeah, this could be really funny and painful and terrifying for everyone involved. The aim of the game is to win. I want to see if we can get the Court of Love going. If you haven't seen it before, then as you say, get out of that rock you've been living under. It does seem like a good rock. You've done nice things with the place. Well done. I way I recommend a new sofa. Minus one loyalty per turn in foreign cities within nine towers for every great work in Eleanor's cities. Now, I'm pretty sure that's like every single great work. We'll test it. We'll do the math so that you don't have to. But we think we're going to be going Void Singers for that very good reason because, of course, relics. Relics are fun. Relics are super juicy. Will I be looking for Himiko and Moi to help me, or Mari, to get to help me get the luxuries? Oh, there's so many variations of Moi, Maoris, the Maori, Maori. Ugh. I just, just, I'm just going to say yes, hello, and you guys can just have to assume what I mean. It's like other languages, especially European languages, where I think is it like prego or is it something like that where like in, in Italian it, it means both sort of you're welcome and oh no it's not Italian there's another one oh, there's another language where it's like this you bitter in German oh I don't know where you say like thank you and you're welcome is like the same word for us moi Maori the ma, ma, my Ugh, it's all the same I try my hardest but my god there's so many variations of it I just get confused Look at this steaming mess of a volcano. It's apocalypse mode. I've also got tundra below me. What could go wrong? It's actually a very unique start. A very strange start this one. If I settle on these plains tiles, I believe I will get a little bit of extra production in my capital, but this is a lovely tile and I'm reluctant to give it up. I'm also within two tiles of a volcano, which means I'm likely gonna get exploderific. Yeah, a dangerous one. A dangerous game for me. I might move to here. It seems like a random one, that, but I want to stay within range of this extra food if possible. Although actually if I go here I'll build the monument. Thing is I'm playing Dramatic Ages and actually managing to get a Golden Age in that first era is impossible, so settling within the first 50 turns it's just totally pointless because I'll just end up losing the city immediately. So I'm tempted just to pull back one. You can see look, it, it reckons there's good stuff down here, but if I pull back one to here then I leave myself all of this forest. I'm thinking of going for a pretty heavy wonder start. Once you stick the camp on the ivory that means we can get the temple of Artemis all around. We also have a bunch, absolute bunch of uh, spare hill tiles down in the tundra that I could be using for the oracle and if I combine those two things I'll have a big juicy capital that produces a lot of great writers and I can get off the beginning of the game really quickly. So I think this might be one of the few games where we actually go for sort of an autocracy start quite deliberately. By doing that we would be giving up the idea of getting our own religion but with eight players on this map getting a religion is looking pretty tricky. I'd rather just buy holy sites later I think and get the faith in a later point once it becomes more interesting later. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. Yeah, this feels like a weird thing, 
but I'm going to be moving away from this tile so I can work that tile quickly. Now you can see there's lots of forest around here, yeah, so this is going to be a fantastic start for me. I'm going to go and explore up in this direction. I'd rather explore down there than into the tundra, like I think this is going to be the more profitable area for me. Stoke upon Trent, you know when your capital is Stoke that there are a lot of Eleanors in this game. A whole lot of Eleanor. So as predicted, we are jumping immediately on that three production tile. That's okay. It's a high production start. We're going to jump into getting a monument going as quickly as possible. Yes, a scout start would be good, but I'd rather jump on the culture. For me, I'm going to be beelining as quick as I can into getting the two wonders. I'd love to get the Temple of Artemis and I'd love to get the Oracle. Oracle will be unlocked or we can find where it is as soon as we get a Pantheon which shouldn't take too long and we can boost uh, archery I believe it is in order to get the Temple of Artemis by killing someone with a slinger. Singapore immediately up near the top and I'm the first to find them. Brilliant. Okay Eureka for bronze working. Okay bronze working is to get killing on the old barbarific or barbaroonies. I think is the technical term for that one. I've actually just shaved to turn off my monument. Fantastic. In fact, actually, with that sort of start, with the extra production, I might as well lean into it and go for pottery and get myself a granary going really quickly. Lots of rice over here and wheat. We can get some big population cities over on this floodplain area, I believe. Oh, look, it's Eleanor. Who, who, who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? It's our first Eleanor is over here. Yeah, this map is going to be confusing. I used as many different colors of Eleanor's as we could, but I'm just I'm just telling you now, it's not going to work. It's going to be horrific. Vilnius? Okay, Vilnius is quite an exciting one as well because they give uh, extra culture if you put a suit, like, a, like an envoy into them, so that's pretty good. Oh look, wonderful. I've actually got this tile, so I'll be working that one quickly. Perfect. With that, the monument is down. Let's pick up a scout, because if I don't pick up a scout, then people just start getting angry with me. Even though this map is in really, it, it, it's really, really full. Like, really, really full. It's going to be just full of Eleanors. I know exactly what's out here. I don't need to explore that. I don't, I don't need that in my life. I could get a campus. That's not a bad idea, actually. Although, I'm thinking in terms of, like, what we need to focus on. I do need to focus on getting that slinger kill if I can. I'm going to go back to animal husbandry. The idea of getting a campus would be good because I've got a couple of plus threes over here that we could utilize, but I think we've got to stick with our guns, which is going for the high culture game here. Let's get God King in and let's get discipline. And already we found a barbarian. So there's going to be an encampment down below us, which is going to be a little bit annoying, but we'll, we'll go and deal with them as quickly as we can. And there is mysticism, actually. Um, we can just beeline straight towards it and skip early empire. Fantastic. Right, that puts us immediately on course to getting the oracle. There is no spare land under us. It is just all snow. And on about to hills, I thought already a, a, a snowstorm had been blowing through here, but I think it's okay, actually. <laughs> it just says Alps. And it's just a huge flat rock of mountain. Seems about right. Well, look, the barbs are already picking on my scout immediately. Look, yay, look everybody, scout starts, brilliant. Don't you love them? Oh, no, look at that. Vilnius has just enforced its borders and Singapore's just like, yeah, you're staying in there forever now. <sighs> Let me out. So mysticism is now within boost range, so we're gonna switch over to, I believe, which is the one that gives me wonder building. None of these, none of these. It's probably gonna be down here or, so I think craftsmanship is gonna be the way to go now. So we'll head towards there. Though actually early empire does unlock for us the governor, which might be good. I mean, it all needs doing at some point, but we'll get the governor first. I think that'll be a good a good choice for us. Let's see what's in the tribal hut. It was 40 gold. So far, super worth it. Um, this uh, barbarian encampment will turn into a city-state at some point, which is pretty good because it's in the middle of the tundra, but we can get a, a warrior. Do we hire a warrior? We'll keep an eye on that. I might be able to get myself a warrior a little bit later on. There you go, I got an archery boost with my slinger and the bronze working boost, which gives me a Singapore. Okay, so there is the Temple of Artemis. So down we go, we're gonna beeline for that. I would love to get that one going as quick as I can. Build a quarry, build a quarry, build a quarry, build a quarry. Don't think we have any quarryable land around us, unfortunately, that's a little bit, that's a little bit rubbish. There's stone over there, but I'd have to get a settler over to go and get that one, so. 
Hmm, not entirely sure that's the best use of my time there. Might have to just force our way through this one, which is a bit of a rubbish. Found Oya in Samarkand. Oh, and look! Eleanor of Aquitaine it seems to be suzerainning them. I, I mean, who would have guessed it? Another barb camp there. The Fire Branch Clan. Oh, very exciting stuff. I just spent 200 gold on a builder just because I can go and improve my luxury and my sheep. That will give me a bit more production into this city. As I say, building wonders has got to be the most important thing for me to do in this city, really. Should I do a couple of heroic tales, see if I get anyone interesting? Could be a good thing. Oya's alright. I'm not going to complain about having Oya in my empire, but she's not, like, the best. Hercules, for instance, Himiko, all of, all of those ones. Beowulf. Oh, there's too many choices. What's over here? An apost- oh, right, a relic. That's good. That is wonderful. That's a fantastic start for us. That will help us to get our um, pantheon going really quickly, actually. Oh, look! It's Eleanor of Aquitaine! Welcome! Lovely to meet you! To lose over there. No, you're gonna lose, not me. Ha! Ha ha! Early Empire. Okay, the question is gonna be, though, okay, I didn't get a pantheon this turn. That's unfortunate. I was kind of hoping mysticism would be boosted very soon, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, political philosophy is kind of where I want to be headed, actually, and that's at the top of this tree. So, oh, well, look. Actually, military tradition just skips right through. Disperse a barbarian outpost is possible. I think for now, though, let's go for craftsmanship. Improve three tiles is something I'm actually doing right now. I've met Hippolyta because she's already been claimed. That's a bit of a shame, but never mind. Uh, somebody's getting a profit point, but nobody's getting the old writer points at the moment which is quite exciting. And look at this, this is exciting. Monument to the Gods is still an option. We're gonna go right in for this wonder, wonder start here. That's not often available actually, Monument to the Gods. Uh, and Mysticism of course has done that thing where I think I need, yeah, 0.7 culture to get that one. Come on, just, just, just give it to me please. So we have Mysticism now, that's good. Urban planning, in you come to give me a little bit more production in my capital. And now, I can be doing things like building the Oracle. Oh yes, recalling heroes cost less faith, patronage of great people cost less faith, and then I get extra points for everything, including... Mm, 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 including writer points. Now that is something that makes me quite happy. It's gonna take a while to produce that, but I think it's worth it. Especially because now Singapore is my suzerain, and you can see that we've discovered Mulan and oh there's another there's another Eleanor oh my goodness lovely to meet you as well my friend lovely to meet you I think I'm gonna have to go for a Pingala start it's it's tempting to go for Magnus and, and wood chop but I want to go for a big strong capital with a bit of culture production and a bit of great point production so we'll do that for now Bandar Brunei there's a lot of city-states on this map. I think I filled it up quite a lot. I wanted a nice chocker map, to be fair. That was the important thing for me here. It would be super tempting to levy Singapore's military and just go after this, Eleanor. With ten strength walls. Oh, it's almost like they want me to take over it. I really did get squished right on the end of this map, didn't I? Nobody really wanted me to, to be a thing, to exist particularly. I just bought this tile over here because... Again, now I've got a nice second camp, I've boosted craftsmanship, but look at the gold coming in per turn on that tile. Oh yes, I think actually that might just about slow down my oracle a little bit, but the gold it's bringing in per turn now is pretty good. And I've now got a luxury that I can be trading out. Oh no, there's two different ones, it's ivory and truffles. Of course it is, of course it is. Never mind. Dark era, we knew that was going to happen. That's fine, that was the risk we were willing to take. Fortunately for us, there's not much more we can do right now, but I just want to be getting a trade route because I've got Singapore. It means the available routes that I can get should, in theory, give me a lot more production once they all go through. And look, I've got a lot of different options, like Newcastle as a route would be a pretty decent one, actually. So that's something I need to consider getting. A trader, I think, is 185 gold, which is going to take me about 15 turns to produce that much gold, unless I can start to ship these for a load of money. Oh no, Eleanor of Aquitaine has declared war on Eleanor of Aquitaine. That's so much information. What am I going to do with that knowledge? Oh, one of these now goes for 150 gold. Oh, perfect. Right, there we go. That is a good deal because now 
I can get in my trader. Wonderful. Okay, that means we're going to have a severe increase in food and also production once everything starts to get rolling. Catholicism, right next to me as well, has Feed the World, this religion over here. So I absolutely am going to steal that religion when I can. There's another Eleanor, but also Um, is just over here. So that's quite a good city-state as well. Extra culture. Oh my goodness, loads of culture city-states. We should probably be focusing on those because I will be getting theatre squares everywhere. I'm going to raid the clan. It loses points towards city-state conversion, but I get a little bit of gold and honestly, it deserved it. And there we go. The trade route of Newcastle seems like a little bit of a silly route with just three gold per turn, but the Singapore bonus, I believe, I'm on 12 production. There's the currency boost. Now I'm on 14 production. So that's the Singapore boost coming in here. He says he's received plus two production for each foreign civilization. They have a trade route too. It's a small bonus, but when it comes to building the Oracle, any bonus is a good bonus. Archery and the Temple of Artemis. Fantastic. Okay, with five turns of finishing the Oracle, that'll be pretty good. We've got the Archer, which we're about to be able to upgrade, but I am just saving gold up now. 320 to get ourselves a Settler. That'll be a good boost for me. 35 gold per turn for my relic. Oh my. Now that, that is intriguing. That is intriguing. That would set me up massively and that would probably allow me to buy at least two or three settlers. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I, I feel like I'm, I'm selling my cultural, like, just wealth off here. But if I can get myself anywhere enough, like enough settlers here to just sort of get that going, then that's, that's got to be worth it. I'm just going to treat myself to an archer upgrade as well, just to keep my city safe. Um, there is Sun Wukong. You can see that was a city-state that needed that. The Owls of Minerva want to be my friends now. That is a cool thing, but I'm going to be waiting for the Void Singers. In the meantime, do I need culture or do I need science? I think culture for me is the biggest thing because I need to be able to get theatre squares and I need to be able to get uh, political philosophy. So connoisseur it is. The Akil, the Hermetic Order and Astrology all boosted now. Hmm delightful. There is the Oracle. It's a lovely building, this one. Different layers, lots of different things. My god, my capital! Just in this frozen wasteland beneath the mountain. It's quite pretty, actually. I realise the strategy I am employing on this game is not optimal, but I'm having a laugh, and I'm saying, you know what, I want to go for an Oracle wonder start, because Deity says that shouldn't be possible as a good idea. So that just makes me want to do it even more. So yes, if you're shouting your heads off going, oh, you're not playing this very well, you're not being very optimum, I know, I know, it's not the point. The point is I'm having a laugh. Also, Temple of Artemis will really help to turbocharge my empire. I'm just trying to think where I want the theatre square here. If I put the theatre square there, then I can build the um, Artemis temple there, and there's a hill ones. I'm just trying to think if I put another one... Oh, oh, do, 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 where is the theatre square going to go? It doesn't really matter, so I'll put it on the tundra. La, 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 la. That's my decision-making song, by the way, if ever you've uh, considered what that noise is. I just realised somebody's on 62 science per turn. Gulp. Oh, they're having a good start. I'm on, I'm on seven science per turn. But, but you know, my, my science is just as good. I'm just doing it in a different way. This is the one I want. I want a lumber mill, which is construction. And I believe construction is rushing it with a water mill. Yes. So actually, I'm just saving up some gold. I know I said I was going to use my gold to get settlers, but I'm changing my mind again because I'm wild and reckless and I'm going to build myself a water mill, which should then allow me to put lumber mills down in my capital, which should make me the construction emperor of the world. You'll see. I'll settle eventually. <laughs> At some point. At some point, my settlers will span around the world and it will be glorious. Oh, that uh, that volcano keeps erupting and it's producing some amazing land around it. I need to keep an eye out for that stuff. Oh, yes, and come feed the world. Yes, 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 yes. I want that. I want that a lot. I need you. I need your religion. So there is the watermill. Just helps boost my uh, capital just a little bit further. But... If I have a look, where do the lumber mills live? There's construction at the top. Right, that's where we're going. I want them. Fortunately, theology is between me and political philosophy, which is a bit pointless. I'm not going to found a religion. 
In fact, I'm pretty sure all the religions have pretty much already gone. Another culture city-state. This one's being killed, which isn't great, but um, we'll kind of turn a blind eye to that for now. Look, I've got the religion, Catholicism, I can feed the world now. That is a really intriguing prospect for me. If I put a holy site down, I can start getting some serious food in. That will make my capital even bigger and we can get a super city going. Oh, this is all going to work out, especially with the Temple of Artemis, once that finishes. Appease the gods. Oh, it's not really what I want to be doing right now. Uh, I can afford a soothsayer in five turns, but so maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. Chocolate Hills. Oh, nice. Slowly going towards the Golden Age. That will help massively. In fact, don't mind me, Singapore, while I just uh, levy your units. Uh, and then march them towards this volcano. There's nothing you need to worry about with that. Oh, look, I'm in a Golden Age now. Hooray. What? What did I do? My production is too low. Oh my goodness. You haven't even seen my capital. It's 18 production. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. The only problem is that look, someone just literally stood on top of my Temple of Artemis. Just like, let me finish it. Let me finish the goddamn thing. Oh, Vilnius was taken over. Oh. oh this is going to be the thing. They're going to keep going after all the city-states and we're going to find ourselves with big city-state-esque problems later in the game. That's okay. I haven't committed to making this a peaceful run. You know, I might I might get all angry in Eleanor later in the game and uh, and just get all spiteful and liberatory. Liberatory, by the way, is a word. Um, just in case you, you hadn't heard that one before, that's it, it, it's a totally normal word. Six gold per turn. Nice, nice, nice. Look, it's Eleanor of Aquitaine. Wait, what? What? Oh, the, the the chances. The chances of that. Oh, I like the blue colour of her. Oh. Oh, I haven't played an Eleanor game with that dark blue colour. It's quite awesome. <sighs> but here's the Temple of Artemis. My second wonder. This is going to turbocharge my capital. That's another four food. But also, already, I think at least three amenities based on the camps and pastures I've got around my capital. So... That's going to make sure that I'm not only happy, but also prosperous and thriving and glorious. And look at that, seven turns till growth already, plus three immunities. Uh, I believe that gives me 10%. Yeah, non-food yields. Look at that. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. And I can even get myself a soothsayer in. How much sacrificing have people done? 46 over here. Well, I can do at least 60 without really breaking a sweat. And we'll go from there. There's another city-state gone there. All my culture city-states are disappearing. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, there's Corvée, by the way. That finally appeared. I'm just going to switch over to that one. Lovely stuff. Discipline is quite cool. I'm going to keep on that one for now, just until I get to a government. Governments are going to help me just push through this. Yes, and there they are. Sacrifice adjacent unit. Oh, Singapore. Don't worry about... The oh, yeah, that Singapore might get killed now. <laughs> um... Uh, Sir Ryan, what, where are you, you know, you know we, we need that army back, where are, you, where are you sending it? Oh, don't, no worries, don't worry about that, just, just, you know, summon important business down here. We'll, um, we'll get back to you in a bit, don't worry about it. Oh, Hanging Gardens, oh, that would be an, another really good addition, actually. Extra housing increases growth in cities, oh, my capital's going to be a delight, a delight, I say. Another Eleanor fancy that who just oh hanging gardens oh someone just built the hanging gardens oh that's a shame that's just a shame it's a good thing i didn't start building that one then god let you the turn it arrives just it, it gives it to me and then it takes it away immediately oh yeah look they are going after singapore oh man damn well <clears throat> you know that's got nothing to do with me <laughs> you know the loss of singapore's army we'll just ignore that for now Oh dear, three random promotions to all present and future soothsayer units. That's what I'm going for here. I want my soothsayers to be super powerful for later in the game. Yeah, awkward, awkward noises are heard. <laughs> uh, Sir Ryan just sort of goes, uh, uh, yeah, mm, about that. So, ooh, ooh, yeah, sorry. Yep, yeah, just, just look away, turn away from Singapore. Anyway, beautiful holy site. I've saved up a little bit of gold. I can get myself immediately in a shrine, although I probably should just build it, actually. Um, eh, I could build it. I'm just trying to think. If, if I'm saving myself for a theatre square, um, but I want to build a government plaza to make this government even better. So, the theatre square is going to go there, so I think the government plaza will go here. 
Is that going to be the best policy for me? Who knows, really? Honestly, I could build it anywhere, I think, and it would be still pretty damn good. Yeah, let's get the government plaza there. Let's just do it. You know? Sod it. And there's the shrine. Free food into the capital. Oh, delightful. Delightful. I'm getting some science from this route. I'm getting some faith in science from this route. And just start building up the trading posts, actually. It's not a bad idea. Although that is, unfortunately, going through some barbs, so we might actually lose our, our unit. But we'll, we'll kind of we'll keep it as safe as we can. Oh, look. Oh, England just lost a load of uh, warriors to Mitla, so they clearly had levied those ones. Oh dear, that's a shame. Now this is, I think, a friendly Eleanor? Yes. So I could make a friendship with this one. Lovely. Okay, we've got at least one friend in this world. At least one. Only one. Okay, I'm actually going to hire a swordsman which will give me a little bit of a boost anyway, but I can bring it now to the volcano. Seems like a ridiculous thing to do, but I'm going to sacrifice it. I just want to guarantee I get that silver promotion because it looks really unlikely that I will, but I think I might have just forced it through there. Trust me, soothsayers later in the game make this sort of expenditure of gold. It just makes it worth it. It's so good. Get a builder into Stoke. Three turns away from getting lumber mills now. Oh, yes. Lumber mills are going to supercharge this nicely and i think we're going to start to actually get grants now this is going to be a lovely boost for us a little bit later i'm not far off now being able to go for drama and poetry and finally a very special shout out goes to scott strat and major king kong matthew wilkinson salty tech and helge Torp for all of your support on patreon as well as everybody else that likes subscribes joins up with discord and all of the other people who support me on patreon you really help me to do what i do thank you so much i really appreciate it